Yes, sir. My name is Akashi, guys, and in this video here, we are going to be going into how you can build a Fusion Warrior team in the scenario that we get a Fusion Warrior. But even if we don't, this is a team that we literally see pop up every single celebration. So it's very likely that we'll be seeing one in this festival, and if not in the festival, in the future as well. Fusion Warriors is my bread and butter. It's my team. I have it maxed out. I'll show you a slight glimpse of it in a second. But I'm telling you guys, you're not going to get a more expert opinion on Fusion Warriors than this one here. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button and we're on this grind to 40,000 subscribers. Hopefully we hit 35,000 subscribers by the end of the year. All my social media is going to be on the bottom of the screen. It's the YouTube channel. We've got a Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram and a Discord link all in the description below. I want to point out that I stream every single day. So type into the streams 9pm to 11pm GMT. You might see me using a team that you enjoy literally every single day. It's the best place to ask me any questions. So if you see me live, pop in, say hi or ask your question. You might enjoy the stream. So stick around. Might be doing a giveaway. I don't know. But also in the Discord server, there's this giveaways going on, going on there all the time. So join those up. I'm going to leave it like that though, guys. I don't want to hold you guys up any longer. Let's actually get into the video now. Okay, so this is what my Fusion Warrior team's looking like. It's all 14 starred beside Namek Q, but he's not a Fusion Warrior. He's just literally there to give USG, Ultra Super Goji, uh, a Zenkai buff, uh, which is actually very, very good. Uh, if I show you the equips, you can get a quick glance. But in this section here, what I really want to show you is how you should go about actually building a team. I call this section the fundamental of team building. Now, ideally, you're going to want one of every single element in the scenario that you come up against a team and you don't have an element to counter it. So you want the element to counter it. So what I advise you do when building teams is actually set this to element. You shouldn't set it to power level. And the reason you shouldn't do that is because power levels are inconsistent. For example, you should know that Beast Gohan is going to be stronger than this Super Saiyan Goku, but he has a lower power level. So you should never on a power level there's no point of even setting it like that and it's just very messy it can literally change based on your individual power levels and whatnot so what you should actually do is set it by element because you'd already pretty much know who's relevant in the game who's useful who's powerful based on how pvp is looking and youtube videos that you're probably watching considering you're watching this and then you can sort things out by element easily so blue green purple yellow red and it gets you to understanding obviously the element advantage advantages and whatnot so green is better than blue purple green so on so forth it's not always that you'd need every single element but it's a good place to start if you don't know how you want to go about building your team then of course you sort out the elements to your uh, the filter sorry to your liking usually just set between sparking and ultra and that's what we're going to have for this video here all right so getting into fusion warrior what you're going to want gonna want to do is go into party formation we're going to go into party formations for this part of the video then go into equipment afterwards and you set your filter to obviously fusion warrior and i advise you actually set it to sparking and ultra you can even turn on extreme there's not a lot of options either or so you don't have a lot i believe this is 29 i counted it earlier all right cool so you want to consider who are the most powerful just off rip you should know that there are two fusion warrior ultras at the time maybe there's more at the time you're watching this video but these two are literally like in unreplaceable they are so good it's dumb they are easily the best fusion warriors you can put on the team and you're going to want a copy of both of them now because they're ultras they don't come around too often but when they do it's not the best time because they usually use it they usually drop them right before a banner is dropping so right now when i'm making this video ultra super goji is actually in the game that's not very convenient you can imagine so considering we might be getting an ultra uh ultra goji blue or something like that if you spend your chrono crystals you're not going to be able to get it. so you need to just like weigh it out carefully whenever you see an ultra rerun for either or and it's unfortunate because you need both of them now that's pretty much it for the ultras you're gonna not gonna need anything else from the ultra section but you need to place both of them on the team now if you don't have this guy the only other option you have is this guy so i want to make make you know about that but this guy regardless vegeta or blue his z ability is really really good he gets 38 percent strike attack and defense what you need to know about fusion warriors is that they are heavily melee based there are a lot of range type um there's a few there's a few actually range type fusion warriors but they are all terrible they are all terrible and won't get you anywhere in life don't consider building fusion warriors in a blast sense at all you must build it strike orientated so you're going to need a lot of strike equips going forward which i will show you as well which is why we've already got three even though this guy's a defense type luckily for you he carries two strike arts and he does a lot of strike damage as well so just keep that in mind because it's very important. Cool. If we're looking into the greens, I don't recommend actually running a green. But if you really want to, you have to put on Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. If this girl Zenkai is at any point that you're seeing this video, put her on because she turns all your blaster strikes. 
But for now, if you're gonna want a green on your team, you should run Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But I'm telling you, you don't really need a green if you have these two. If you don't have these two, or you have one of them, for example, you're gonna need this guy. If you don't have these two, I suggest reconsidering building the team because it's not gonna be valuable in your box, I'm telling you. Now, this guy here, I see the Vegeta, I shouldn't have took off uh, Ultra Super Gogeta, but that's besides the point. Or oh, uh, Super Vegeta over here, he actually is very, very useful for HP, but he only gives a HP buff on the Z ability at 14 stars. So I'm assuming most of you guys won't have him at 14 stars, but his Z ability is still really good. So you can see his strike attack and defense, 30%, but it'll be lower than that, um, obviously, if you're not at um, 14 stars. But it's still very good to have there, nonetheless. If you don't have the HP buff, I don't advise putting him on unless you're actually planning to bring him into the battlefield. And yes, he is the best purple fusion warrior you have as an option. I put him there for the HP buff, and I'd sometimes bring him if they go double green, or if they don't have any yellows, I might consider him. But more, more often than not, I don't actually bring him out. If we're looking at yellows, if Gogeta Blue gets a plat, he'll be very valuable, but he's not at the moment. The only yellow you should really be using is Ultra Super Vegito, but if you don't have him, um, I've seen people really force this one, but if you want to strict in stick into the Fusion Warrior type range, you could run Marju, but run him defensively, so only run him with defensive equips. But if we stem out the Fusion Warrior section for a little bit, sometimes leader slot options are something you have to consider. And the best leader slot option I would consider for Fusion Warriors, if you don't have Ultra Super Vegito, is Super Saiyan Gohan here, the... Um, the LF one, the adult one, he has endurance and every time a combo ends of him getting hit, he actually busts the team which is very effective. Purple SV does the same thing, but of course we're considering a yellow so I want to talk about future Gohan. He would fit nicely on the leader slot and he has he, he has a good good um, Z ability for the team. Uh, you can see here, uh, ignore the, the tags because he's going to be on the leader slot. Strike attack and defense which is what you need. So uh, yeah. Let's go back to Fusion Warriors now with the filters. Hopefully my eyes don't fail me. There we go. Instant. Cool. Now, there's no red options and I want you to know that. CMZ is a red that I've tried to use on leader, but you have to prioritize him to get value. So unless you have him at like 14 stars or something, do not consider running a red. There's no other red that is good in the game. Red Super Gogeta is horrible. Don't use any reds, which is why you saw my team at the start of the video. It did not have any reds and it's also not holding a green. What I tend to do is prioritize the main fighting forces because they're so good to the point where you can just literally focus on them and actually get the most value out of them rather than actually trying to spread things out. So as long as you have a range of colors, you can do type neutral damage consistently. You're not always trying to be type advantage because that could also be a liability depending on how you're building your team. So if I was going to be building a Fusion Warrior team, right, I would go for Ultra Super Gogeta. I feel like he's the most valuable given that he loses one enemy if he loses one ally, sorry, not enemy, if he loses one ally, literally, he becomes the most strongest fighting force. He locks them in and he goes type neutral. If you can land the ultimate, you can land the rush. Even if you already landed the ultimate, you get about 30 seconds, I believe. Let's actually check that. You get 30 seconds or something crazy like that of um, nullifying endurance. Nullifies uh, enemies restore health when it reaches zero. So definitely Ultra Super Gogeta. Uh, Ultra Super Vegito is a must. Now, um, outside of the Ultras, I don't need to explain why you need Ultra Super Vegito, but those are your main two. If we're going out to these options here, so let me just reselect it so I can start from scratch. You can see here, if we're going into the Sparkings, oh, we need to go back to the filter. There we go. Just want the Sparkings. I would only run this guy if I had him high stars. So if you have him, don't have him at least six stars, um, you shouldn't use him for the Z abilities. If you don't have him at least nine stars, don't bring him out. Don't ever bring him out to PvP, in my opinion. He's not worth it. He will literally get shredded and you'd be disappointed depending on your BR. Especially if your BR 65 up, you're going to be disappointed. If you're going to run G4, run him with the sense of defenses or ultimate damage. He's literally a nuclear weapon. Drop the ultimate and then outside of that is dead. But I wouldn't really bring him, which is why I actually have the Saiyan buff from Namek Goku, which actually gives me uh, double offenses on the Z ability. If you have him 14 stars, that's even better. Double offenses on the Z ability, you can see there, 30%. And then, obviously, he's a blue Saiyan with a Zenkai, so he gives a Zenkai buff to Ultra Super Goji, who's the guy I'm telling you to prioritize. So if we go back to actually Fusion Warriors, he would be on the team. Did I put him on? Yeah, I did. I did. Nice. Let's scroll down now. Uh, Fusion Warriors there. Dope. If we scroll further down, now you want to consider HP options. I told you about this guy here. Uh, he at 14 stars is the best option you're going to want to put. But if you don't have him, you could also consider putting this guy on. And even for me, I like having two HP buffs sometimes. 
This guy is very, very good as a HP buff. Um, you can use him, hybrid saying. And he's the best one because when we think about equips, equips are very important. Um, they would actually have an impact on how you play. But um, that's only if you bring them out. So I just like having the free fusion warrior set up. It, it looks tidy. You don't need to use him. You could use some other HP options such as um, EX Raditz because everybody on the team that's actually usable is a Saiyan. Ultra Super Gogeta is a Saiyan, Goku and Vegeta, Vegeta, Goku and Vegeta, and Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4, Goku, Goku and Vegeta. So you can run uh, EX Raditz as well. He will give you a good HP buff. And uh, if I'm going to finish off, if I didn't have this guy on, you could consider some uh, Z ability options. So this guy is really good. As a Z ability option, you could use him. You can see here Fusion Warrior, Base Track, and Blast Defense, and plus 20% to Vegito's. But then Ultra Super Gogeta, because he's leader, he'd get all of that. So that's a good Z ability. Um, I had the EXs on before, because EX Gogeta, where is he? Over here. He's actually a very good option. He gives you, uh, you can see Fusion Warrior, Base Strike Attack, and 40% to Fusion, Base Strike Attack, Strike Defense. What I would consider if you're running this guy on the bench um, as your Z ability buffer. You should actually put Ultra Super Vegito on the leader because he does not have the fusion section in his tags, meaning that he you wouldn't get the value uh, out of the um, the Z ability from ES Gogeta. But if you put him on the leader slot, you could take advantage of that. So if you're gonna put this guy on the bench, definitely put Ultra Super Vegito on the leader slot. That would actually help you out a lot. And that would pretty much it be it if I just show you my finished product because I already have it finished. You can see here similar to what i just built it's the best way to get out of it but i'm just explaining all the pieces on the board so you know exactly what you're doing when you're trying to build a fusion warrior team now i'm going to get into the equipment as to why i have certain things where um but there will also be some other recommendations because these aren't the only ones that are good now the first one i got here which is also one of the most difficult to grind but easily the most valuable it's called righteous saiyans i call it the build your own equip equip because you can literally select what slots you want but it's hard to build because it's random when you get each slot but if you can get a few of these you'd actually be set so hard bro you can see here you can select well you can't select but it's random you try to aim and get a certain slot but like i told you this team is very strike heavy so you're going to want to go for the strike slot here here you're going to want to go for the strike slot as well so you can get at least 32 percent 33 percent and then here you're going to want to go for ultimate damage or special move depending on what you want to do so i feel like special move is only valuable if you're running vegeto blue because he would lock in when he hits the blue card so that means you're guaranteed to do damage and they won't be able to switch out especially if you type advantage that could actually cause a big upset or if you're using ultra super gogeta because ultra super gogeta actually um generates blue cards every single time yeah, he fills his gauge like it's so stupid if i show you where it is i think it's in the first one yeah here we go while this character's on the battlefield once you need gauge is full draw a special move arts card next it's very very effective if you wanted to run special move but you're only going to need strike strike special move or strike strike ultimate damage i don't advise any other ones unless you want to really build Gogeta 4 to uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to the full potential you could go strike defense strike defense then ultimate damage but I feel like strike strike ultimate damage is the best one for most of them uh, so I'd recommend Righteous Saiyans for sure and where you get it you get it from the Z Metal Shop this equip is very very important because it gives you raw strike attack now the way I always explain raw strike attack for people that have never come across it it's basically saying that it's a multiplier but if you know with multiplication you need a big base number to make the multiplication more valuable so with that being said the difference you see here you see it says strike attack right but on other equips it always says base strike attack for example on the middle on fir uh, first slot you see base strike defense but on the raw slot or the pures they say just strike attack there's no base prior to the word so that's what makes it a multiplier and if you get this and you're running a lot of like strike z abilities you've already got a big base number from all the z abilities the other equipments you'd use so then you get the multiplier here and that would actually max out the potential you can get and because you're running a full fusion warrior team unless you've got future gohan you'd be getting 15 percent if you max out the slot because it's per each fusion warrior so if you're running three fusion warriors inclusive of the character that it's on if they're a fusion warrior they should be because the type requirements are fusion warrior you'd be getting five percent for the character you're using it on and then five percent from the two others so that would make 15 in total um where do you get this you get it from the equipment medal uh, equipment collection event 
Uh, it's in the event section. You can find it there. And then also the Z Metal Shop. If you want to actually prioritize insane ultimate damage, which you should be because all of these fusion warriors, they're the biggest hype character that we get out of uh, any celebration. So festival or the anniversary, they usually drop a fusion warrior and they're going to be a legend limited in most cases or an ultra. So they're going to come with an ultimate art. The ultimate arts always hit heavy, so you're going to max out the ultimate arts. I already spoke about Righteous Saiyans just earlier, but this one is in addition, but it's only for Vegito, so bear that in mind. You get a lot out of it, special moves, strike attack, more strike attack, but you have to roll that one, it's quite difficult. And then you also get the base health, which is very effective, and the ultimate damage. Any Vegitos, you're going to need these. You're going to need it. You're going to need it. If you want to know how to get it, you get the um, awakening, from the memory, from the Zenkai Ultra Space and Rush Shop, and I will actually show you where you actually get the non-awakened version right now. You get the non-awakened version, I'll show you, from the Equipment Metal Shop. Also a difficult thing to grind, but hey, you gotta get it where you gotta get it. Very, very important equipment for Ultra Super Vegito. You can see here, it's another ultimate one. So you can literally get three ultimate equips on Ultra Super Vegito to make sure his ultimate literally hits like a nuclear weapon. This one here, you're the idiot. You can see here it comes with health restoration, key recovery, special move, ultimate, strike attack, and blast attack. The only thing that make this better is some health, to be honest. Um, Fusion Warrior Yellow, so it's literally for Gogeta Blue or Ultra Super Vegito. Uh, the Gogeta Blue already in game. And you can get this from the Ultimate Equipment Collection for Fusion Warrior and Yellow. Now, this equipment here is actually really, really good, but it depends on how you want to go about your team. So if you want your team to be extremely solid and still do a lot of strike damage, but you do lose out on the opportunities to get a lot of uh, special move or ultimate damage, you should go for this one here. But all around, making your character, your, your team, not even your character, your team very, very solid in terms of their defensive stats and then on their offenses that specifically their strike attack and having HP so they live a long time this is the equipment you need, you need to get and you're going to need quite a few of these um, because Ultra Super Gogeta is going to be a good one and if they release a Gogeta Blue Ultra one or even with the Gogeta Blue in game or any Gogeta because they all come from the movies you're going to want to actually have a few of these on deck so you can see here base strike attack double defenses more strike attack and HP starts from the movie fusion and then you can see you can get the memory from the Zenkai Ultra Space Time Rush Shop. But if I show you where you can actually get the original equipment, you can see it's called Ha. You get it from the Z Metal Shop and the Equipment Metal Shop. This equipment here is amazing, but only if you want to build for blue card damage, specifically for Ultra Super Gogeta. Um, it doesn't work on VB, this Awakened one, because it's only for Fusion. And the Patara isn't just the Fusion. It says Fusion Warrior only, so unfortunately... But um, you can get strike defense out of it quite a bit. Special move damage, which is what you're looking for, the 15%. And then you also get quite a bit of strike attack, so it's very, very valuable. Uh, like I said, it's only for Gogeta's, pretty much. But where you get the Awakening, the memory, is from the Zenka Ultra Space Time Rush Shop. But if you want the actual uh, original version, so you can actually do the Awakening, you get that from the Equipment Metal Shop, as you can see. I feel like I've got to mention this. This is Super Vegito. The purple Super Vegito is Platinum Equip. Um, I'm not even going to dive into why it's good, but it's really good. Um, equipment medals, that's where you get that. If you're going for the option of actually getting Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on the team, you'd actually get his Platinum Equip. I'm not going to go into why it's good either, but it's a must-have. Uh, ultimate Equipment Collection, very simple. This equipment's also good for him as well. Awaken, you've gone too far. You can see it says GT, but it works specifically for um, Gogeta 4. And you can get the memory from the Zenkai Ultra Space and Rush Shop. But let me show you where you can actually get the um, a base version. It's good for special move and strike defense and strike attack. So you see here the base version, the non-awakened version you get from the equipment metal shop. Although this equipment has awakened, it's only specifically for melee types, which Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta isn't. He's a defense type. But this equipment's good for his special move and ultimate damage. And he does two blue cards. So he gets a blue card if it lands. He gets another one after that. And then the ultimate is the main thing that you really want to buff. Which is very, very effective. You also get some HP as well. But where you get this is from the Z Metal Shop and the Equipment Metal Shop. But yeah, man. That's going to conclude the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Fusion Warrior, like I said, is my bread and butter. So I'm happy to be producing this video in this format for you guys. Uh, to actually build your Fusion Warrior team. If you're looking to build one. If you haven't already. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, man. If you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button, man. We're on this grind to 40,000 subscribers. Hopefully we can hit 35k by the end of the year. All my social media is going to be on the bottom of the screen. There's the YouTube channel. We've got Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. I'm going to leave it like that, though, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. Like I said, I live stream every single day. So if you see me live, tap into the live stream. My name's Akashi, guys, and I'll see you guys.
in the next one, man.